I've been gone for a week. I stayed at my girlfriend's all week. I came home and found this on the porch. That's the pumpkin we carved on the first. <laughs> all right, I gotta get a trash bag. <laughs> Okay, my kids are just like me. We're all absolutely crazy. Um, like I said, I was gone for a week. I just came back, and I have a big dry erase board in my office here. I wrote on it, I need a new plan, because things were just not going as planned there for a little bit. And my son came over and stayed here while I was gone, and this is what I found when I just came in my office. And for anybody who doesn't know, that is a direct quote from this movie. Here's the plan. In the dead of night, you and I mm. grab some provisions, hijack one of those uh, longboats. The road to El Dorado, Kevin Klein voices the character Tulio, and these two guys basically go looking for the city of gold. Um, it's a cartoon, but it is hilarious. Uh, my kids grew up watching it. We watched it like constantly. Check it out, The Road to El Dorado. I fell asleep in the recliner. Last night I was up till 5.30 in the morning working on those rocks, getting things ready and cleaned up before I went to bed. I don't even think I've eaten anything today. I had my Atkins shake and, uh, and I honestly, I think that's it. I came home and I've been busy ever since. Then I sat down and fell asleep in the recliner. So tonight I'm going to make some enchiladas. They're real easy and real quick to throw together. You brown your hamburger, toss in some diced onions, a pack of taco sauce, about a cup of cheddar cheese, Mix that all together and that makes up your filling. Now the key to these things is these Joseph's Flax Wraps. As you can see, they're huge. One half of one of these has a total of four countable carbs in them. If you were to sit down and eat one alone, it really wouldn't be that great. But when you use it for something like this, they taste pretty good and it's really, in my opinion, the best low carb wrap out there. The other ones are kind of rubbery. So I only used about half the can of tomatoes, and like I said before, I'm probably not going to bother telling you how many carbs are in something unless I feel it's a concern if you're on a low-carb diet. In this case, the entire pan of enchiladas is going to have about 40 carbs. I'm probably going to eat about a fourth of that, plus this will leave me like three to four meals in the fridge that I can eat on over the next couple of days. That is gonna be tasty. It is 6.30 in the evening, just starting to get dark, and look at the sky. I have been busting my butt all day on eBay and editing videos. I just ran out to the store and I got some of these because the little is coming to spend the night with me tonight. Remember the pumpkin she saw in my car that I bought when I got locked out of the car? We're gonna carve that tonight. The thing is huge. So we're gonna have a fun night. We're gonna camp out in the living room. We're gonna watch some movies. I don't know if it'll be any Halloween-y stuff. We'll have to see what she thinks about that. More than likely, it will be Moana. Look what I found over there at Mark's. Diet Frosty Root Beer. 
I've never tried this kind before, but I bet it's gonna be delicious. I've been dying for root beer ever since I did the video on the abandoned root beer stands. This has Splenda in it. We'll see how it tastes, but I gotta get it nice and cold. I gotta get it nice and frosty. Okay, so the little's not here yet, but we got our giant pumpkin over here ready to carve. And uh, yeah, there you go. Charlie Brown, it's the great pumpkin on TV. She ought to be here any minute. We got the popcorn machine back here. I'm gonna stoke up in just a minute here. We're gonna have a good time. Our Diet Frosty has been in the freezer just waiting for me to take the first sip. Oh my God, that is so good. I'm so glad I found this. Okay guys, it's official. Look who's here. Ah! Hey, she's totally mesmerized with Charlie Brown right now. You see this little right here? We had all these plans, and although I've made videos of her plenty of times before, she was impossible to film last night. <laughs> What are you doing? We had a good time. We had a lot of fun. We blew up our beds. Okay, so what do you want to do first? Do you want to make popcorn? Or do you want to carve a pumpkin? Or do you want to watch Charlie Brown? Or do you want to blow up our beds? Yes. Blow up the beds? That's what you want to do first? I guess we're blowing up beds. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! The fun has begun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this little. We're gonna have a fun, fun night. Come on, <laughs> we carved a pumpkin. That you know how yucky that is. Just here. Can you get it on there? <laughs> we jumped on the beds. Well, she did. <laughs> ah, ah, what a crazy little girl. You want the big one? This is what happened all night long. <laughs> Don't go take a nap. We're gonna make popcorn and we're gonna carve a pumpkin. This little bug is so curious. She insisted on sleeping on the same mattress that I was on and I was almost asleep and then she crawled up and literally laid across my neck where I couldn't breathe. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? We played in the toy box. And we had popcorn and watched Charlie Brown about 12 times. <laughs> We're gonna try this Amish country popcorn I picked up, well, in Amish country. It's like a rainbow blend. I don't think it'll actually pop up rainbow. What, honey? Look at the popcorn! Look at the popcorn! <laughs> yeah, look at the popcorn! <laughs> Bring it in. You want to put some more in here? Good girl. That's a good job. Fill it up. You hear it popping? Don't eat it before it pops, honey. I tell you this girl is crazy. She's eating the popcorn before it even pops. This is a pretty good little corn popper. I paid, I think, 200 for it at Walmart. Ha, 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 ha. 